Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Thanks so much for watching my videos. I've recently recorded my most recent webinar and that's what I want to talk to you about. A couple of things before I really get into what the topics are though, I want to let you know that a lot of you are finding out that there's some stuff out there that's making you angry and that's good you're not going to stay in that anger that anger is your platform to push off get off the fence a lot of you are finding out that you really do know you really do know and I'm very proud of you be proud of yourself I honestly really don't uh, you know know what to say because I don't really uh, watch a lot of stuff I don't even watch television uh, I my message is uh, it's tutorial I am here to teach some stuff my uh, role here some one of my many tasks and jobs as a blu-ray is to be a prototyper for the new body template and in doing so I've been working on this for several years so what you are obtaining when you get my information my webinar my tutorials even my videos if you watch my videos this is usually the culmination of several years or several months of intense uh, trial and error experimentation and adjustment and it's being distilled and being gifted out in a form I want to clarify a couple of things for a lot of you also and this is that whoever is here living on the planet you are here uh, because you were invited you're some of the strongest people in the universe and that's no joke this is really taking something though to elevate up through a dense level and that that is something that uh, we've given ourselves the task of so what I want to talk to you about specifically is as the result not a result not some random thing but as the result of doing work and it is not just me it is other blu-ray people it is some of the illumined seraphim people it is some of the illumined cherubim and it's a lot of people all over the world and I want to let you know the world's about to become your oyster why because it's July and I realize in the northern hemisphere it's still midsummer those midsummer night dreams that are uh, happening for some of you where you really want it to manifest in your reality and in the southern hemisphere you will still gain the benefit of this even though it's still your midwinter but it's harvest time it's time for a lot of the gathering all of your planting your seeding and I realize these are metaphors for some really painful experiences that you've lived through through healings through releasings through cuttings through uh, moves geographical moves changes in your life and for some of you it's still not showing up I encourage you to keep going put one foot in front of the other okay so what my uh, July webinar is about is about harvesting the love but you're harvesting the high love that you've made the connections to not necessarily 3d love okay there are there is a clear distinction to be made and this is where you're going to see again you're going to see those splits in opinion splits in the mental body my webinar specifically talks about flying now for some of you who have done your most recent ascension somewhere else you may have memories of this you may have had flying dreams as a child this may really feel like not only second nature but your true nature and it should I talk about this in there I want to let you know that for a lot of you uh, there's a lot of information here that is very specific for blue rays 
And I do encourage people to get it because it's, it's a lot more detailed. For those of you who are blue race, you will have remembrances of flying usually a lot easier than other people. What I want to let you know is that the body is different. Some of the things you'll be releasing, some of the things you'll be clearing or the way of doing it is going to be different. And please know that you will get your high guidance. For people that are coming here to receive the new light body, some of this is very instructional for you. So as you've been going through your life as a sensitive person or as a person that doesn't know why you have visions, dreams, heightened senses, and you, you just don't know why. Maybe, and I'm encountering a lot of people that I'm talking to that as a child they knew things. Maybe they had to, you know, somehow do something about that in order to just get by. I want to let you know too that I'm talking to a lot of people where there is an older and a younger dynamic, particularly older woman, younger man dynamic, and you are most definitely New Earth people. You're coming in here with a, without a lot of things to wrap up, but almost all of us right down to the nth degree has something that we're wrapping up, finishing, clearing. You're not just polishing the chrome and, and you know tweaking some things. You're getting down to the very subtle levels of everything so that you can really be new and elevate without anything holding you down. All right, so I want to talk to you about flying, flying multidimensionally within your union, that is with your twin flame, that is a physical necessity. It is necessary to be with each other physically, and you will, even if you don't see it right now. Stick to your own plan that you came here with. I talk about uh, clearing and the how-to and the grid work and what specific areas that you're clearing. It's going to be all of your high heart connections. And I want to encourage you, stick to what you do know and allow the rest to come to you. Some of you are, you know, you're actually waiting for some of this fog to lift. Patience. Patience is necessary for you to get to certain points. There are some people who, as part of their agreement, are going ahead of the pack, ahead of the crowd. It's just the way that we're doing this. This is uh, very individualistic, and yet there are groups, there are people who are specialists, there are people that go ahead and prepare things. There have been people that have dismantled things. There are people that hold energies. And some of you know who you are. If you don't know, don't stress about it right now. What you're here to do by being who you are may be not able to come through yet. Don't worry about it. Not everyone is here to be a healer. That is a misconception. Okay, so stick to what you do know at this point in time. If all you know is, that's my person, and I know I'm here to do this, and I know I'm here to fly home, that's what you stick with. Try my webinar. Um, also, I want to remind everyone, get out into nature and do not despair. All of this is not dire. Don't sit in the stew. Don't sit in it. Get up and out. Get outside. Really get moving with that. Let nature be your best friend. It's important. Take some of your cues from the animals. And if you don't know what your own angelic nature is, start observing. You know, really observe some of the animals in your area. Because they'll let you know. You'll see them playing with each other. And I have, uh, I actually lost it, but I have proof of this harvest. The second waves, we've had uh, so much rain here that everything's very lush. We've had a drought over the past couple years, two years, here in Chicago. This year we have a lot of rain. It's seeming to rain every two to three days. A lot of people are still complaining about that. However, I've been seeing... Uh, brand new broken uh, bird eggs where there's been new babies that have come out in midsummer. 
the other day I was driving and a mother deer and her fawn with the little speckles still on the fur walked right across about 10 feet in front of my car. And the little fawn was just like Bambi in the headlights, like doo 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 doo. It was so adorable, but that was proof to me. This, we're harvesting, we are, we're doing this. It, it is happening. While some of, some parts of the world will appear to thrive, and this is going to be where the love is able to be brought through. And we've talked about waves, okay? So, yes, get out into nature and don't despair. See the animals getting frisky with each other and trust that you're going to have a chance to get frisky with your own twin flame. It's coming. Uh, another thing to talk about, which I do mention in this webinar, but if you don't know the how-to or you don't know what it, what it all entails, try my January my January 2015 webinar available at the link below and on my website and it involves all of your universal and cosmic conclusions and cutting all karma this is a necessity this is absolutely a requirement cut your karma some of you been doing this not easy but not impossible either you can do a lot of this and I know that there's uh, people that are becoming aware of this. Uh, I've been talking to some people through sessions. When I do readings and sessions, there are people that tell me parts of their journey. And I'm finding out that, you know, all of a sudden they'll hear these words, twin flames. They get their guidance. Go look this up. Okay. I still uh, say to you, be judicious about what you're reading. Let your, filter it through your heart. Okay, um, I have some of the information, other people have some of the information. Not everyone's a twin flame and they're not going to have it. It's that simple. But they're here to receive, just like you're here to receive. So I want to also remind you, some people will go with you, and that can be people from your biological family, parts of your soul family. And this is important to know parts not everyone will some will not some people will be sitting on that fence or they'll be over there and they've got gone off and gotten distracted if you feel that you know some people who are getting distracted are your twin flame i refer you back to this bullet point stick to what you do know because you're the only one in the entire universe who can give them the right messages and information through your heart. If you decide that you're, you know, it's holding on loosely but not letting go. That's the key here. Okay? Stick to what you do know. Allow the rest to come to you and keep moving. Keep getting out. Stop, you know, stop the negativity or stop hearing it or reading it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That part, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> so what I want to let you know is some people will not. Please be willing to let them go. They will catch up, okay? It's like people, if you take, if you take a class, and this is a class. However, do, am I trusting, you know, do I need to let everyone, you know, I don't even speak every language. How am I going to get this to everyone? Some of you will be getting information to people in your own language. And by the way, there is more to come. There's going to be all kinds of stuff for next year. So please know that this wall that you might feel, it's, it's time to fly up and over it. Find out how. Now, a couple other things about my webinar that I would like to say and this is uh, to let you know, you have several bodies. Some of you have uh, many, multiple bodies. Some of you have uh, multiple chakras. And some of the specifics of why does your body hurt. I cover that in uh, several of my webinars, particularly the recent ones for this year. The one in January 
uh, I actually had so much material I split that in half. And the caramel part, that's $20. That is, uh, that half will uh, help you. This webinar for harvesting and making your high heart connections, because that's what it's all about. In order to be able to fly the way that you want to or to go to the levels you want to, and yes, continuing to feel your own multidimensionality, but, you know, how do you clear that out? I talk about that in my webinar. That is what my webinar is for. Patricia, my twin flame is still uh, having, you know, relations with someone else. Find out how to release it because I have exercises connected with my webinar that will help you do this. Patricia, I feel like I've lost the connection. Again, I have exercises in my webinar to walk you through how do you release all the way to the world covering your heart so you can feel each other again. How do you get the basics? How do you do some of these deep level things? Well, I can tell you this, that through trial and error, it's been made very easy. That I get this information from my own union and through my high guidance. And I've done it and I've tried it and I've healed things and I'm continuing to heal it. And they've been uh, love issues. They've been mental beliefs. They've been connections to things. It has been family. Some of the karma, okay, if you don't believe it's your own family, if you're going to let them hold you down or you're stuck in a situation with them or you see them at every family holiday, uh, family functions, birthdays, high holidays. And just the other day I was reminded by my mother and I'm going to uh, give you a couple stories and I'm mostly Irish and Polish, raised Catholic, Roman Catholic, and not only that, I've said this to people, I was an accident. My parents believed what the Pope said about birth control, and I don't want to hear anything about it, but things have moved along so much that the other day she, she mentioned a uh, holy day of obligation. And just, there's that word, obligation. And how do you not feel all these low emotions, guilt, shame, obligation? How do you, you know, it is getting into your high heart. And as you do some of the exercises, you're going to find out that the effect it has is it naturally releases. And you can't hold those low emotions. That's the key here. Not holding the old and low stuff so that you can. Um, I also am uh, going to share with you a luncheon I had with a friend. Uh, I live in Chicago. We both live in the Chicago area. We used to work together, became friends. And her and her husband, um, he's uh, very much a student of the Kabbalah. And she was raised in New York, so she had an influence of... Uh, she happens to be Jewish, I happen to be Catholic, and we're having lunch at a Greek restaurant. <laughs> this stuff only happens here in America where you can have all these nationalities here. Well, they happen in other places too, Australia, London, some of the big cities. But we're having lunch, and we start talking about what happens when you die. And I say... You know, well, not only based on my experiences, because by that point, I've already have the prototyping experiences, my mediumship experiences, my flying dreams, and very much a knowingness, a body consciousness that I'm multidimensional. Okay, except I'm kind of held here until I finish my agreements. So we talk about this, and she says to me, well, what I believe is that when I die, I go into the ground and that's it. And I said, don't you believe that your energy, your electricity, I said, come on, you're vibrant, dynamic, you're, you're so vivacious. Where does all your energy go? She said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We go into the ground and that's it. And I'm afraid. I'm afraid of when I die. I'm afraid that when I go to sleep, sometimes I will go out of my body and, and I'll be gone. And this was an actual fear that, you know, it just, it 
it took me aback somewhat. And yet this was a very good indication to me of some of the uh, things that have been put in people's heads, very well intentioned. Not everything is dark or negative. Where does this come from? It comes from the people around us. It comes from grandma and grandpa and great grandparents. And it comes from things from thousands of years ago or from other planets. And again, this goes back to universal karma. And how do you cut it? How do you cut it? It, it takes actions on your own part. So, you know, we agreed to disagree in a way because I knew that I really wasn't going to sway a deep-seated fear. But secretly, I wished for my friend to release her fear of, you know, what happens to her own energy when her body gives out. And I will say this, for Twin Flames and Blu-ray people, you won't have to have a traumatic accident or a dire illness for those out-of-body experiences. Okay, I don't pretend to know what you know. What will we happen? Obviously, there's still people dying. There's still people getting killed. There's still people that kill themselves. And I've had friends who've killed themselves too. I had two that actually got in front of a train on purpose and killed themselves. And I've still communicated with their spirits. So there is, um, there is something to know here because there's a lot going around about, you know, the spiritual twin, the matrix twin. And one of you's just higher, one of you's just lower. You need each other to get out. Keep pulling your twin out of the low stuff. Find out in my webinar the how to clearing and how to and the last thing I'll talk about the world is your oyster okay the world is your oyster all right so your grid work what does the grid work mean for you and how do you do it and a lot of you are going to find out that basic grid work has been done by many of the blu-ray twin flames However, as many of the other twin flames and some of the divine counterparts keep going here, they'll need to do some of their own grid work. So I talk about that in my webinar. And if you would like to purchase my webinar, it is still very reasonably priced. It is at the link down below and it is on my website. And my website is www twinflamesmerge.com and I thank you very much. Thank you to everyone who has already purchased the January webinar and my recent webinars. I'll say this also, if some of this is new to you, if some of this is maybe some of it's clicking, uh, the videos that are on YouTube that are available for everyone to look at. It's public material. And yes, I'm exposed to the public, so be nice. Don't be mean to me. Everything is coming from my heart through my union. And if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it. Anyways, it's, uh, you know, we don't need the negativity. If, it, if you're not ready for it, that's one thing. But what I will encourage you to do is Go back and watch some of the stuff that I made last year. Some of it's very, uh, uh, I would say, introductory. And some of that may start clicking with you because some of what is happening is this goes in cycles and as people move forward and things feel more open and the fog lifts, you'll find that you can go back and look at something and it does click. It's like watching a movie or reading a book where you're kind of like, ooh, I never heard that line in that movie or I never saw that thing. You start to see and feel and hear things again that are helpful for you. So um, along with the July webinar on harvesting your love and the topics that I cover in here, January is very helpful. I'll help you reset up everything that you need to. Thank you so very much. Have a wonderful day. And have a wonderful weekend. If you're in summer, enjoy the summer. If you're in winter, 
get ready because that turning of the season's coming and we've got a huge event coming up uh the end of um the end of this month going into next month so thank you so very much i'm getting this out in time to help people with that huge portal next month bye now <laughs>